previously the eligibility criteria was that you had to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 public hours of watch time and your channel is monetized but now they've added something on top of that and you guys can see hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to review an email that was sent to me by youtube last night this email is pretty interesting i think that there are some big changes that are coming up in 2023 youtube is making some changes in its policies it is extremely important for everyone to know what changes are coming up especially for those youtubers who are not monetized yet and they are planning on getting monetized there are some things that are going to be really good for you and then there are some things that might not be so good but again once we go through that email uh, we're going to find out what's actually changing in the youtube policies without wasting any more time let me just get into that email we're gonna go through that email and a couple of blogs that and the links are shared in the same email so we're gonna go through those blogs as well and we'll see what changes are coming up uh, in the near future so first up let's go through that email this is the email that was sent to me it said uh, you asked we listened unveiling new ways to earn with shorts now more ways to get rewarded that's what they say and you know as a matter of fact back in 2007 when youtube made uh, some changes in their policies all the people who were monetized previously because there was no monetization threshold of 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time back in the days so everybody was monetized i was monetized i had a channel back in those days which was monetized but then YouTube put that threshold that I had to have a thousand subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. And eventually I wasn't monetized. I had to work when I created this channel. I had to work for it, like put in a lot of efforts and hard work and get that channel monetized. You know, they're making some changes again in the next year, early 2023. They were planning on coming up with some uh, big changes. Some of them are mentioned here. Now, a couple of important points that are mentioned here in this email. We're going to go through those first and then we'll go through the blog to see what's uh, mentioned there because the details are mentioned there. Now, on here it says ad revenue sharing on shorts a new way to make money so in this early 2023 you can start to earn from ads that are viewed in the shorts feed so when you're scrolling through the shorts feed you're going to see ads coming up like right now there's no ads coming in the shorts feed but in the future in 2023 you're going to see ads i think that's happening right now on tiktok similar thing uh, youtube is going to start displaying ads revenue that is generated off those ads is going to be distributed some of that is going to be distributed amongst the creators and the remaining amount they're going to obviously utilize that for the music that is used in the youtube shorts so that's one change that's coming up also super thanks for shorts a new way to engage with your community um, that is also something that youtube is adding super chats are something that people are definitely already are aware of this is something that's coming up in the shorts feed as well this is more focused towards the short side i'm gonna go through the blog to show you guys what changes are coming up so going through the blog on top it says made on youtube supporting the next wave of creative entrepreneurs and if you look at this graph that's on the left side it says today at the made on youtube event there were three things that were announced updates to youtube partner programs so more creators can make money from their content i'm going to actually cover what's the latest update on the partner program so the 1000 subscriber threshold and 4000 hours of watch time threshold that stays there that's not going anywhere it's just that they've added something on top of it um we'll cover that very soon in this video next thing that's mentioned is new opportunities to make money on shorts including revenue sharing on ads and the third thing that's mentioned is new ways for creators to monetize content that uses public music on the right side as you guys can see from its earliest days youtube opens the door for millions of people to share their voices find a community reach a global audience and build a business uh, but we know that was just the beginning launching the youtube partner program in 2007 meant that creators could for the first time share in the revenue and earn money from their content this unique business model means we only succeeded when our creators succeeded right and creators are succeeding proof of that that they've mentioned is that now creators have their full-fledged operations they have their teams their employees and over the past three years i've mentioned a figure here that we paid creators artists and media companies over 50 billion dollars so that's a huge amount obviously youtube keeps a cut of that but obviously still that is a huge amount that is paid to the to the to the creators and i think that they mentioned this portion that is paid to the creators specifically and you know youtube's portion is excluded of this today we introduce the next chapter in rewarding creativity on our platform this is important no matter what that looks like we're announcing more ways for creators to become partners new ways to make money with shorts and reimagining of how the music industry and creators work 
together i'll leave this link in the description so if you want to go and check this out you can do that important thing that's uh, to note here on this page is this graph on the left side now this is the biggest change i think that's coming up in the year 2023 this youtube partner program previously the eligibility criteria was that you had to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 public hours of watch time and your channel is monetized but now they've added something on top of that and you guys can see 10 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days so this is something that they've added now the eligibility criteria is 1000 subscribers and either 4000 valid public watch hours or 10 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days the difference between these two is this is in the last 90 days and this is in the last 12 months so for 4000 hours they're keeping the threshold the same 12 months it's just that if you are a person who creates more shorts you can still get monetized you have to have either this or this so if you achieve this even if you haven't achieved the public watch hours 4000 hours that's still fine you would still get monetized provided obviously uh, if you are compliant to the youtube uh, policies and guidelines and community guidelines etc now it also says access exclusive benefits receive support and earn money with ads obviously that's there youtube premium that's also there funds merchandise merchandise is something that i'm going to create a separate video about this is another way of earning money uh, on youtube now and this is really good ticketing is something that's that they're adding youtube brand connect super chat it it has been there and still there super stickers super thanks and channel memberships all the ways uh, how you can earn money uh, with youtube in 2023 fan funding they've created a separate section or a separate table for this now it says access fan funding sooner more details coming up in 2023 access exclusive benefits receive support and earn money with super chat super stickers super thanks channel memberships these all are there as well if you scroll down you guys can see another important update that is for shorts creators new ways to earn for short creators we're going to go through this in detail because this is going to be important for people who are creating shorts on their channels beginning in early 2023 Current and future YouTube partner program creators will be eligible for revenue sharing on shorts. In short, ads run between videos in the short suite, as we discussed in the beginning. Every month, revenue from these ads will be added together and used to reward shorts creators and help cover costs of music licensing that they pay. And the third point is from the overall amount allocated to creators, they'll keep 45% of the revenue distributed based on their share of total shorts views the revenue share remains the same no matter if they use music or not so if you're a short creator who's not using music but if you think your content of that nature where you should be using music i think you should definitely do that because it's not going to impact on your revenue and usually when people use good music their videos get more views also next point that's mentioned here is evolving the soundtrack of youtube so this is again another important update music is essential to shorts and across youtube over the years we've seen how creators can give classic new life or bring a local hit to the global stage but the complexities of music licensing has made that most long form videos that feature music yes even that one workout video you didn't finish don't result in creator getting paid so in recognizing an opportunity to build a bridge between the music industry and creators on our platform we are redefining how music can be featured in creator videos now does this mean that they're going to allow creators who are creating long term long format videos for example 10 minute videos and they use music they're still going to be able to get those videos monetized i am not sure let me know in the comments section what did you guys think of this after reading this they are mentioning that we are introducing creator music a new destination in youtube studio that gives youtube creators easy access to an ever-growing catalog of music for use in their long form videos yes that is actually correct creators can now buy affordable buy affordable high quality music licenses that offer them full monetizing potential they'll keep the same revenue share 
they'd usually make on videos without any music. So I think you can buy music from YouTube library now. I thought it's free, but okay. And for creators who don't want to buy I less license up front, they'll be able to use songs and share revenue with the tracks, artists and associated right holders. Creator music currently in beta in the US and expanding to more countries in 2023 will offer a streamlined process for creators. They'll be able to instantly see the terms of their song selection. We believe creator music will mean more amazing creators collaborations more new tunes and views playlists and more ways to artists to break through all while continuing to put money in creators pockets I think it's it's either or I think I, like I have I'm 50 50 on this I don't know if this is good or not like you know you can still buy music from third-party applications like epidemic sound there are other applications other platforms that can provide you uh, with music and you can buy their subscriptions there are a lot of tracks available that you can use in your videos so I'm not too sure about this but let me know guys in the comment section what do you guys think about this it's been incredible to witness entirely new industries built by creators on our platform our model since 2007 has been to put creators at the heart of our economic engine and our shared success we can't wait to see what gets made on youtube over the next 15 years again some major 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 updates and i think this is going to change a lot of things this is going to change the way youtube partner programs work right now guys let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this if you guys think this is good if you guys think this is not let's start that discussion in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one Bye bye